Alright, so we're taking Consecrated Sphinx on this pick. We're hoping to wheel something. Like, Cavu would be awesome. Probably won't. Even Revoker would be nasty if we got to wheel that. Um... Wow. Unless you have the Stronghold Abyss combo if you want it. I might just take how's, Earthquake here. How's that a combo? Stronghold in the Abyss. You just sack your guy and you can get it back if you need to. Mm. And I guess we don't it's not really, really have anything combo. that hasn't like good enter the battlefield effects though. That does something. I mean, like, I'm probably gonna play Siege Gang here. You could all, Earthquake seems pretty great. I think we have enough burn though, and it's not. You wouldn't use it for burn. You'd use it as a wrath spell. Like you're not you're only playing seven creatures and you're probably cutting two or three of them. I think I would have taken earthquake there. Ooh, a monster baby. That's a There's also a Glenelendra though. This is extremely late. I'm gonna take the Mox. I really like moving faster. And it's like on on color Mox, I'll take over Glenelendra pretty much any day. I mean wow. I have I have to be like dedicated Rebel Arc to take this over a Mox an on color Mox at this point. There's our sneak attack for that Emrakul we passed up 9,000 years ago. God, we should have kept it dead. I think the factory is fine. I think you still take sneak attack, dude. You have Frost Titan, Sphinx, Niv Mizzet, no. Siege Gang. Like no, you, you sneak s attack is still a good card. You s you have to <laughs> sacrifice it, though. No, this is a combo card. You use this as that with Emrakul. Oh, well, I forgot that it's sacrifice it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, do it. Go all the way. I mean... You 100% take it I, and play it. When it's was, fucking cute. When was he printed after Conflux? It was M13, right? That was, uh, that was, yes. Yeah, the first pack that I opened in M13 in a draft was Nickel Bolas, and I just told myself, yep, I'm forcing this, and I had the sweetest Nickel Bolas deck with a bunch of fog banks and stuff like that. Sounds awesome. Yeah, it was really fun. Um, I ended up Andy, losing to a mill deck just because I didn't... Because your deck did nothing <laughs> yeah, to a Yeah, because I didn't do anything. <laughs> like Sweet Fog, Fog Bank. Bank. Yeah. <laughs> I lost in the finals. It was, it was pretty lame, but... Um, Take your Agony Warp. I kind of like Char. You hate Char. No, it's fine. We're in the deck where we're actually trying to burn them out. It goes to the face. Burn right? them out and play Nickel Bolas. <laughs> Fuck yeah! It's the combo. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be playing this Nickel Bolas, but I I did take it. So let's take that for our dream halls that we didn't take. I, take your take your molten rain. Yeah, I am. I just God, this card is so good. Have you ever? No, you haven't played Vintage. This card, in Vintage, this card is so nasty. It's just like, turn one, workshop, Lotus, worm coil engine, go. <laughs> what? Wow. Well, we'll take that. Okay, so we have a lot of cuts to make, and we even got our Bone Splitter back. You're not playing Bone Splitter. Yeah, no, I kind of want to even just hate, hate this blood gas. No, no, no. Bone Splitter's going to be worse for you than, oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We're not playing either one. I kind of wanted to um, potentially play the Bone Splitter with Trinket Mage, but um, I don't think I really want to be playing Trinket Mage. We have a lot of cuts to make, and I think Trinket Mage would be the first to go with only one target, and it being a Bone Splitter. So just put in the cards you're definitely playing. That's what I'm doing. You are definitely playing Bonfire. Oh, you're putting all your burn together. I'm just... I, I don't know if I'm playing these ones. I probably am, but... Um, I'm just adding my... I, I'm, I think I'm playing Mizzy Mortars in this deck. You don't know if you're playing Chain Lightning, but you're playing Incinerate? Yeah, I like Instant Speed. I value that a little bit higher. Okay, so we're at 18 cards here. Um, we're definitely playing the Lightning Greaves and the Abyss, right? Yeah, that's a, that's, it, that's a the, sick combo. The Is It Signet. Oh, 
down here. Um, so if we like add Gilded Lotus and Nickel Bolas, we actually just have a deck. I think you want Grim Monolith in your deck, dude. Yeah, I think so too. Monolith lets you turn three any of your four or five drops. You're right. I, did, I actually didn't even see the Monolith. Um, the Mox Ruby I'm going to be playing over a mountain, um... The Nicol Bolas, very good win condition. I don't know if it's a little bit greedy. Like, cause I could... <laughs> I mean, of course it's greedy. It's Nicol Bolas. Right, but I mean, Nicol Bolas kind of forces me to play the Gilded Lotus as well, which is... Like, I, I like Nicol Bolas as a win condition. I'm happy to play him, but like the double black's a little bit rough. As much as I want you to play it, I don't think you can afford to play that card. I also think we have enough win conditions already. Yeah, you have Sphinx, you have niv you have Titan. Like, I kind of want to just play, like, a Firebolt. I like Firebolt. Me too. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this deck. I like this. I love these kinds of controly burny decks. I love you. That's why I love. Is it? I like controlly burn decks. <laughs> I think that's almost exactly what you want, mana wise. Well, you're gonna have to cut some crap, obviously. Yeah, I will. I always do the suggestion, or I try to always do the suggestion before I add this stuff. Put in the grave for the island. Chilly is a breezy, beautiful cover girl. Um, that goes in for that. You're right, Water Grave goes in over an island. Um, so then. So you agree on not playing the Nickel Bowls? I mean, Chandra, I, I also I, feel it, like, is a card that we could be playing and we're not. Well, I mean, you could. Like, what I would probably do is against really slow decks, I would probably bring in um, your slower cards. Or you could just go the opposite route and bring in all your burn against the really slow ones and try to race them. Are you really, are you playing Factory in your three-color Dirtle deck? Yeah. Okay. I've got a lot of removal, and it can get in there for two. Like, I'm, I'm trying to burn them now, so, like, Factory is a nice right. little mutable. I think that that's your issue, though, is if you're trying to burn them out, you should probably be running... Char and chain lightning over something slow. It, the you, abyss. You, you could just cut black entirely for the abyss and just run burn spells. No, I like the abyss. It gets them in a nice little lock. Right, but again, that's not what, like a burn them out deck isn't trying to lock. And the them. abyss also combos well with the lightning greaves. Like that's the combo right there. Right, but I'm saying you could take that combo out and just run char and chain lightning and have seven more points of burn at your hands. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think we have plenty of burn in the deck. Don't you? You have Bolt, Jet, Incinerate. That doesn't go to the face. No, it does go to the and, face. And Siege Gank. And Cough is aggressive, Siege Gang is aggressive, Nib Mizzet you can dump Nana into, and then Bonfire. And right, so I'm just that... saying, like you, well, what you said a moment ago is that you're just trying to burn them out, in which case... It seems better to have Chain Lightning and Char and just try to raise them that way. Well, that's way. one of our win conditions. We're also going to be, like, slamming them with fatties. And, like, <laughs> I trick. <hate> you <laughs> I love slamming you, people. You with can, fatties. though, like, if you want. You actually can side into a pretty aggressive red deck if you want to. Yeah, like, I mean, can, like. You can bring in Ruin Blaster, Molten Rain, Chain yeah, Lightning, Yeah, like, if we see Library of Alexandria, like, we have some. You still have like Keldon Marauders and Price of Progress against the artifacts or the the janky like controlly decks. Yeah, we actually have pretty good. Like friends. like this one. <laughs> this is a janky deck, but I kind of like it. It's fun. No, I I like this deck too. I think the new cube is. Re I'm really glad they added the power nine to this. It makes it much more entertaining. I agree. Um, yeah, it, I think this is fine. You could also cut the black for the Gilded Lotus a Johnny Vengeance get deck or a Johnny Vengeance thing. Mm, nah. 
Is the I've never played it. 